hello guys welcome back to coding cafe my name is Mohammed Ali and uh, in this video we will complete our uh, admin uh, maintain products activity where we will allow a user basically uh, allow admin to edit and delete the product details that is price description etc and delete the entire product okay so yeah I mean uh, let's do it so here on our admin uh, maintain activity what we're going to do now is to retrieve the product uh, first of all we have to receive the id if i show you on the home activity we are basically sending this product id that is uh, the admin will click on any product on the home activity and we are sending that uh, id of that product so on the basis of that id we will retrieve and do changes to that specific product uh, yeah so for the time saving what I'm going to do is I'm just going to the product details activity okay copy this product ID thing okay copy it and let's come here to the product maintain activity on which we are working okay and just for the time saving because we are already I mean for the end user we send the user to product details activity and already we write that code here okay so I'm just copy pasting that copy paste that code okay so product id get in done and this is the id okay which we are sending for the admin also here you can see this which is pid so yeah i hope you got what i'm saying what i'm saying okay now uh, to get create a reference okay so for that also go to the product details activity okay here we need to write the code from the start i mean for creating the database reference so yeah and database reference and that is our uh, product reference let's create that after this product id we can say product reference equals to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child and the child will be our product id yeah that's it and now with the help of this reference uh, we will retrieve that specific product here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a method which will be display uh, that specific product information so we can give it a proper name that is let's say display specific product info let's create that method yeah and here in this method we can say product reference dot add value event listener new value event listener and make sure to put a semicolon here here we can say if get a snapshot dot exist then what we gonna do we are going to retrieve the product name and all that thing okay so we can say name equals to that a snapshot dot child and the child is uh, let's go to the admin add new product activity here if you come here to the method where we are sending the data I mean we have to use the same name which are already available in the database okay I mean this thing for the product name we have this p name okay which means product name this is the these are basically the key values key or you can say the values are p name but this is the key okay so these are the proper key name which are already available in the database okay so make sure to use the same names which are already in the database so p name dot get value dot to string so let's copy paste this line of code Three, four, yes, three times further name, price. Then we have description, and then we have the product image. So we can just give it image name, or let's give it some proper name because our controllers have the same name. So product name, product price, product description and p image 
so yeah and yeah they change this thing quickly let me check it for the image we have image and paste that here then we have description description and for the price we have price that's it now let's display it so we can say name dot set text pass the p name to it let's copy paste this and we have the price and it is stored inside the p price name price and the last one is the description and pass the p description to it and the last thing is the image and for that we can say picasso dot get dot load and pass the p image to it and we want to display it dot into pass the field name which is our image view yeah so that is all about displaying the uh, previous or you can say the old data of the product now we have to do some changes that is the user will do some changes okay and then we will uh, store that changes so for that a user will click on this button which is apply change button so here we can say apply change button dot set on click listener you on click listener and here we need we need to create a method let's say by the name apply changes so this will be the method let's create it and in here first of all we need to get the data from the fields so we need let's say uh, the name of the product okay so we can say name and the text field name is these okay these are the uh, controller name which is name price and description so we can just say these have same names we have to differentiate between these things okay so let's give it different name which is p name and then we can say name dot get text dot to string let's copy paste this quickly then we have the p price then the p description which means product description and for the price we have the price added text for the description we have description added text now we need to redact this i mean we have to tell the admin i mean if anyone is empty so we can say that is pname dot equals to null then we are going to notify the admin to please write the product name so yeah toast and we can say write down name same for the other one so you can say else and by past this which is the p price and this will be product price and let's copy paste this once more time for the description please write product description and the last one if everything is okay then we will do these changes i mean store these changes inside the database now in order to do that i am just going to save the time and i will just copy paste this hash map okay and we will just keep some data here just what we need so we need to remove the date time from here the image also the category also and the product price and okay these things will remain so the product id is stored inside the product id 
the PID means and the description is stored inside the P description and the price is stored inside the P price and the product name is stored inside the P name so product ID description price P name we want to update it so we have to apply the update query which will be product sorry product ref dot update children pass the product map to it dot add on complete listeners new on complete listener make sure to put a semicolon here and in here we need to notify the user if task dot is successful we have to tell the user that is So we have to tell the admin that is uh, changes applied successfully. That's it. And also we need to send the user to the uh, to this activity, which is our admin uh, add new product activity basically. So this one no not this one sorry for that i mean what is the name this one okay so yeah admin category activity after when this thing is completed so it is our admin category activity so let's add and uh, create an intent for it so for the time saving i am just copy pasting this intent from here and i will just paste it here and make sure to do the changes here so we are on the admin maintain activity and we want to send the user to the admin category activity yes it is that one so yeah and then after it we can say finish and yeah everything is okay and before we test we have one thing which i forgot is i mean all our all of our products are in the products node which is the parent node i hope you know that so we have to pass the products parent node okay this is the parent node inside the database which contain all the products and we are uh, retrieving that specific product on which the user will click so yeah that is okay now and let's run the app so the app is running now successfully and let's log in i'm an admin And let's wait for it to log in. Welcome admin. Let's go to the maintain products. And let's change this iPhone 6. Click on that and here we go. This is the product picture. This is the product name. This is the product price. And this is the product description. So I'm going to change the product price from 800 to let's say 1000 dollars okay 1000 and the name of this product let's say instead of iphone i can iphone 6 i can just say iphone 8 iphone 9 let's say and iphone 9 old instead of new i just change it to old and if you want you can change let me uh, add some more description let's say this is amazing and let's apply changes and here we go changes applied successfully now if we go back to the maintain products activity again here we go iphone 9 old product price is changed to one thousand dollar instead of that and the description also we change this is amazing so i mean now you can change any product price i mean the admin can change any product price and any product description any product uh, name okay i mean yeah so that is okay now what I'm going to do is just to go back and also let's check it from the end user if there is uh, any problem or not. So let's uh, log in now as an end user so that we can know if there is any bug or not. So I am now logged in as an end user okay and yeah here you can see this iPhone 9 old. It has changed successfully the price and this is amazing i mean you can see this 
so yeah i mean that is incredible now the admin can uh, change the product name product price description or you can say the delete feature is still left okay so in the next video tutorial we will uh, allow an admin to delete the product so yeah that's it for this video and we will complete that in the next video i mean allowing the admin to delete any specific product so if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel for in cafe thumbs up for this video bye for now